people of the internet, my halls of happiness. I hope you are doing well today. In today's video, as you can probably tell by the title, I will be showing you guys what is on my iPad Pro. Now, last year I did a similar video to this one, except I did it with my iPhone, and I decided to do the exact same video except switching it up and do my iPad instead. So yeah, before we get on with this video, I want to tell you guys that I am very, very close to 1,000 subscribers. I think by the time this is uploaded, I will be at around 990. But I am planning to do a 1,000 subscriber special that will include a Q&A And I want to hear some questions that you guys have for me so that I can answer them in hopefully the next video So yeah, without any further ado, let's get on to the video So this is my iPad and this is the case So it just has this very very pretty mandala pattern Which just has blue and purple and pink and it's very very gorgeous And I just love this case and then on the back is just the exact same thing Thing. And then the really cool thing about this case is that it's actually a stand. Hey there. Um, it's actually a stand and um, whenever my hands are full or I'm laying in bed and I don't want to hold up my iPad, I can just prop it up on the stand and it also has different levels for how high up you want your iPad to be. And I don't have to worry about it falling on my face or just falling on the ground to protect it. And in case you were wondering, I have the iPad Pro 4th generation 10.5 inch in the color rose gold. So this is what it looks like when you first turn it on. It just has this beautiful French scene on a balcony with breakfast. And this is just the ideal life to have. And I just, it's just so gorgeous. And I just really had to have it as my wallpaper. And I thought it was just very aesthetically pleasing. Then when you unlock it, the first thing that you see is my wallpaper and it's just this very, very pretty flower kind of naturey scene, which I just love so much. I think the flowers are absolutely beautiful and they're such a pretty color and they look like they just smell amazing. So then I just have the apps that come with the iPad. I just have FaceTime, calendar, photos, camera, contacts, which I actually don't use on my iPad. I actually use it more on my phone. And then I have the clock, which I use for alarms. Then I have notes, which I actually use for YouTube video ideas and things that just randomly pop in my head. And then I have App Store and Apple TV. Then I have my Irrelevant folder, which just has voice memos and point of sale. So then I just have settings and files, which I actually use to store my downloaded background music. So this is all of the background music that I use, in case you're wondering. And just a helpful tip, the song I'm Good by No Suits is actually a copyrighted song, so if you plan to use it in any of your YouTube videos and you want to make money off of it, beware because it will get copyright striked. So yeah. So this is the next page in my iPad, and I just have shortcuts, which I actually don't use whatsoever. And as you can see, I organize all of my apps with folders. I find that it's way neater and it's way easier to find stuff. Some people may disagree, like my mother, which, you know, to each their own. So then in this first folder is called Cam Stuff, and it just has YouTube and Roblox. And then I have the calculator, which I actually don't use on my iPad. I use it more on my phone. Same with Google Maps. And then I have Find My Devices because um, I misplace my phone and my AirPods more than is acceptable. And then I actually use Pinterest a lot. Like, you'd be surprised. I use Pinterest a whole lot. I, as you can see, I use it for quizzes a lot. I love taking quizzes from Pinterest. And then I also like to see like little like memes and um, just like pictures. I actually just finished binge watching Full and Fuller House and it was so great. In case you're wondering, they actually do have Full House on Hulu. And I just have a lot of like pictures. I have a whole folder dedicated to Full House moments and just Full House in general. Same with Fuller House. I just think it's so great. And Pinterest is such a great app that you can use for inspiration and outfit inspiration. And I have a whole folder that is dedicated to back to school inspiration for when I go back to school shopping, hopefully next month. 
Then I just have Bitmoji, which I don't use on my iPad and I actually use more on my phone. Then I have House Party, which is the same deal. And in case you don't know, House Party is an app where you can chat with multiple people at a time and you guys can play games. There's games like, I think it's called Guacamole Bowl, I think. And it's like Cards Against Humanity or Apples to Apples. And it's just very, very fun and I really recommend getting it. Then I just have Disney Plus, which I use to watch a lot of nostalgic Disney movies and shows. Now, some people may disagree with me. Actually, a lot of people may disagree with me, but the newer Disney shows are actually not that bad. And then I am in the process of watching Teen Beach Movie, and I just finished Tinkerbell and The Great Fairy Rescue. So, yeah. Then I just have TLC Go, which is an app for the TLC channel, and I guess it's downloading, and it's an app for the TLC channel where you can watch all of the shows that they have to offer. So there's things like 90 Day Fiance and Outdaughtered and Seven Little Johnson. Like, it is such a great app. Then I just have Netflix, which if you've been on the face of the earth, then you know what Netflix is. This is my profile. I just have DJ Fuller on there. I literally love Fuller House. I think it's so great. Now, I'm in the process of watching Once Upon a Time, and after I'm done with Once Upon a Time, I'm going to watch the final season of Alexa and Katie and yeah <laughs> then I have Hulu which if you don't know what Hulu is it's another streaming app that you can use to watch a lot of shows and like I said before Full House is on Hulu so I use this to watch shows like Little Fires Everywhere, Full House, and Chopped Jr. So next is my music folder so in this folder I have Spotify and Spotify, if you've also been on the face of the earth, then you know what Spotify is, and it's basically an app that you can use to listen to music and podcasts. Right now, I'm listening to Office Ladies, and it's basically Jenna Fisher and Angela Kenzie, who play Pam and Angela in The Office, and they talk about all of the behind the scenes that went on while filming The Office. And then I also have my playlists. Some of them I saved, some of them I made myself, like Jam Out in the Car, TV and Movie Playlist, and then Summer Vibes and Favorite Singalongs. Then I have Podcast, so yeah. Then I have Simply Piano, which is a great app for learning piano. And I've only been using Simply Piano for about three months now. I started in March, right when quarantine started, and I'm already almost done. L literally, I only have like five I think five more lessons and then I'm totally done with all of the courses hopefully they add more so then I have the piano app which I actually don't use on my iPad I actually use it more on my phone then I have piano tuner which is just a tuner that I use to tune my violin and my ukulele then I have music tutor which is a sight reading app which I actually have not used yet but I hope that I will be able to in the near future. I just downloaded it to really brush up on my sight reading skills for piano and violin. Then I have music notes, which is just where I like to get and download my sheet music. Then I just have Chord IQ, which is also another sight reading app. So the next folder that I have is a hefty one, and it is editing. So I have Fonto, which I use to edit my thumbnails, and then I also have Video Leap, which I use to edit my videos, and it's just an overall really great app for just starting out, or even if you are a professional, they do have Video Leap Premium, which unlocks way more editing tools, but you will go by with just the free version. And then I have Pixar, which I also use to edit my thumbnails. Then I have Color, which I actually don't use. I don't even know why it's on my iPad, but it's just there. Then I have YouTube Studio, which I'm not going to show because it shows a lot of like private information on there, but I just use it to manage my YouTube videos and reply back to you guys' comments and just manage my channel in general. Then I have YT account, which I actually don't use on my iPad, I actually use it on my phone, and it's just there to track my subscribers. 
then I have Video Star, which I actually don't use. I have only used it, I think, two times, and that was to make little transitions for my videos. Then I have Magic Eraser, which erases the background. Then I have Superimpose. I actually don't use this app, and I've never used it. I just downloaded it because I saw it on TikTok, if I'm being honest. Then I have Unfold, which is a very, very, very cool app. And um, basically, you just use this to make, you know, little Polaroids of pictures that you have. And it's just a nice template to have. Then I just have Adobe Lightroom, which is such a good app for adding filters to your photos. Then I just have Canva, which I also use for my magazine that I am making with my friends. So yeah, and that is it for the editing folder. The next folder that I have is education. Now this is what I use for school or for like meetings or whatever. This is everything business or you know school oriented. So I just have Canvas and then I have Chrome. Then I have Google Docs, which I use also for schoolwork. Then I have Google Drive, which just has everything like Google Docs, Google Slides, etc., etc. Then I have Zoom, and if you have been on the face of the earth in the past three months and you know what Zoom is, then I have Canon Print, which is a great app to use for when you want to print things off of your mobile device and not have to go through the trouble of doing it from your computer. So that is it for the education folder. And then the last folder, but certainly not the least, is health. And that this is just full of workout things. So these are the apps that I have. So there's just Fitbod. Then I have Swerkit, which I actually like way more. They have kids workouts and adult workouts, and the majority of it is free. So yeah, that's basically it for what's on my iPad. So that is it for this week's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. There's just something very, very enjoyable about seeing what other people have on their devices, whether it be their phone, their laptop, their iPad, or whatever. So um, yeah, also don't forget to comment down below any questions that you guys have for me so that I can answer them in hopefully my next video. And as always, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!